I just had the biggest disappointment ever. Good morning guys! I feel like I don't look like myself because I like, don't feel like myself. What's the time on one meal? Let's check. It's time to go. Time is 11.16, so very late and I just woke up. But actually it's only like, what, 8? I woke up to messages of team like requesting things. They're already up. I'm feeling a bit like this updates guys we were gonna stay here today for an event but it's quite windy and it's been so beautiful to sleep in this tent while it's so windy because you can hear it all night you see but in like a beautiful way I don't know I can't quite describe it Filippo's already ordered breakfast and coffee he always wakes up before me let me see if I can show you outside so this is the breakfast that Filippo has ordered this is the view that we have of this place I wonder if the water is cold let's check Ha <laughs> Freezing! But I really wanted to chill here today, however, we're gonna move. We're not gonna stay here. And what's Filippo doing? Maybe it's too windy for that. Careful. Wow. Out there, it's just a desert. No, yeah, careful. The reason why we're moving from the desert is because it's too windy and the event cannot be held here, unfortunately. I really love it. Baby, thank you for ordering coffee. I'm gonna chill here and I'm gonna have my breakfast for sure. Guys, I got dressed really fast. Somehow it happened that now wind has stopped, but well, we've already like made plans to leave. And I am sad because this day of vlogging was supposed to be like me in the desert with you guys, enjoying our day, but possibly going to the spa and doing nothing. But we're moving. We're going to the Ned, I think, which I love. It's my favorite hotel in Doha. So we're gonna go to the Ned. I am sure they have an incredible spa there. Might even get my hair done, enjoy. I am wearing, somehow it happened that I'm wearing a full Prada outfit, except for the shoes which are Chanel. Let me show it to you. You guys know these shoes very well. These are my grandpa's slippers from Chanel in silver. I love them. My Prada jeans. Maybe I, I shouldn't have had the tank top under. I, I think I'll close this shirt on top because I think it's going to look better then. Because otherwise this looks too blue undertone and this looks too yellow undertone. If you know what I mean. I love your backpack, by the way. Thank you. My girlfriend bought it for me. <laughs> for my birthday. It was my birthday present to Filippo. This backpack. I really, really, really love it. He wanted the backpack and he got the best of the best. Honestly, this place is so like relaxing for the eyes, you know, because it's just, as Filippo would say, two colors. Well, kind of. But it's really, really beautiful. Filippo is loading the bags onto the little golf cart. And I'm gonna go get my stuff. We're leaving. I'm sad we're leaving, but at the same time, it's okay. This view from the sunbed was going to be just... It looks like it's fake, that you there, because it has the sun on it. It looks like it's a scenario, like it's not like a real thing. A little bit fake, fake looking. It's crazy how beautiful. So we're leaving this heaven. But we'll go to Doha and that's gonna be easier for me also for work and stuff because internet here, let's just say, was not it, okay? <laughs> but love it. I think this place you need to visit if you want to go and relax. I'm not forgetting you. Nope, checking if anything else I left around. Seems all reasonable to me. All good. We are driving, but very, very slowly. Like because that, we will arrive safe. And tomorrow. And tomorrow as well. It's okay because this way, when we arrive, your shift is over. You know? I but he looks so cute with this outfit. Do you like Maybe it? I love Was it. Was it one of your top three? Of course. I don't know if everybody saw Filippo's top three in the comments, but I love your I comments love. so much. It's very bumpy, guys, on the juice. station there it's by a Serbian artist it's so that's the that's the fire station very famous one we changed so many plans because there was some delay let's just put it that way I don't think I'm gonna come with you Filippo no no it's fine Filippo changed in the car he's going straight to his event I 
think you look so gorgeous when you're in a black suit and the green sneakers and at the back it says try to guess I love it after we drop off Phil we're gonna go to the hotel and I think I'm just gonna have lunch and my favorite 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 fusion sort of Japanese Chinese normally I'm like very like active and energetic but now like when Filippo is kind of today is like the day of his work and I'm kind of a little bit in the back seat and I love it I love also being a little bit I don't understand when people can only be like in the front seat all the time you know I love to be in the front seat when it comes to work but I also love to be in the back seat I feel like I'm such a good I feel like I'm such a good shadow yeah that was not a, a expecting more compliments but anyway, we will leave with that for now because Philip was very, very stressed and busy. Um, we got to chill. Guys, okay, change of hotel managed. We had a pretty bumpy ride. Basically what happened is Filippo was rushing a lot to his event. I was supposed to come along. That bird, I love the sound of different kind of birds here. We were supposed to go together, but then like it didn't make sense. I didn't have time like to get ready, to get dressed, changed and everything. So since the roads like around the net are all closed, he basically had to like walk across, I don't know, some huge junction to make it on time. Crazy, but kind of managed. What I wanted to tell you is that I wanted to, I, I told him like, don't worry baby, you're working. I'm gonna do my things. I'm super good at staying alone. Like one thing that you need to know about me is that I'm extremely independent. I love to spend time alone. I love to be by myself. So, so now I was like, I'm gonna book my favorite restaurant in Doha, which is B Lounge. Gonna go have some sushi, a salad, enjoy everything, like have a great time. But no, that is not gonna happen for several reasons. One of them is because basically they are closed for anybody except from guests of the hotel that is with B Lounge, which is Ritz Carlton, where I stayed last time. So I can't go there and I'm hungry. And I don't want to stay like in the hotel. It's a bit miserable, right? Plus, I also need to go and buy a charger for this camera. I think I'm going to go to that new mall. I, I'm going to change, obviously, because this outfit is, you know, it can get better, right? We can, we can do better. We can do better. We know it. So I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go. I'm going to change. I'm going to head out and I'm going to take you with me so that we can all enjoy a little bit of Doha. Let me just show you my view from the balcony. I mean, already when I saw this light, I was like, oh, gorgeous. And then basically... Here's the view of Doha. Can you hear the bird? So sweet. So this is the view. I'm gonna put on some other pants than these. We have a lot of luggage between two of us. Many suitcases. So I think I'll put something on from here or from there, I can't remember. And then we get going. Alrighty, let's do this. Okay, I changed. I changed into my the row shirt, pants and Hermes Chiper sandals. I just had the biggest disappointment ever. So I'm searching which restaurant I'm gonna go to. I'm very hungry, it's 4 p.m. I haven't had any food, okay? And I find this restaurant called Yugo Restaurant. And I mean, what would you think? What kind of food would you think it is? Here's me thinking, it's like Yugo Slavian, kind of like XU Balkan cuisine. No, it's Yugo Asian Fusion Restaurant. And as much as I wanted to have Asian Fusion, I did get a little bit disappointed so i'm trying to search because i don't want to like just go somewhere and then be told that it's only for the guests of the hotel or whatever I'm trying to see if i and i also need to buy a charger for the camera remember i forgot it so i'm trying to go to a mall where i can also eat but i also don't want to spend half an hour in the car yep okay i'm going to al hazm that's where i'm heading guys i'm trying to show you this sunset it's really beautiful while I'm waiting for my driver. I always see some of the most beautiful sunsets in the light. It's really, really magical. Okay guys, we arrived. I mean, every time we come to Doha, we try a different mall. Uh, so far, this is probably the most extra thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It looks as if a Versace, Palazzo Versace decided to do a mall, basically. But I think I'm at the wrong entrance because there's nothing here. There's just a lot of McLaren. Okay, I think I'm the only like basically person here. This is really, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna go and ask those people there uh, where to go. It looks like it's closed and I just arrived. That's how it looks. Guys, there is no um, roof here. This is basically an open wall. Now it's much better, I think. I haven't had any food, Not nothing, nothing. It's 5 p.m., it's almost getting dark. 
not even a coffee because where we were in the desert it was just like something was wrong with my coffee and then I had to rush and then I didn't have time to have it so far not one shop I recognize it's all local it's beautiful it's beautifully done I'm just trying to find something that I can show you you know there's something in human nature everywhere you go you want to find something familiar it's like in you but then I want to get immersed in the culture I want to try and like see local things but at the same time I want something familiar and it's so weird like I can't quite understand it it's probably something to do with the uh, psychology of how we are I don't even know where I'm going it's very windy I didn't realize this place was out in the open so I'm not sure what to go for. Glam district, that seems good. I think I should be in there, right? As a shopping queen, I have to say that this is a map that I do not really understand. So I proclaim that we failed at this small discovery. I ordered the coffee. It's a big no, not even possible to drink. Oh, we need to leave. Okay, we need to we need to fix this. We need to get a better. We need to find a better place because Doha has so much to offer. It's almost overwhelming how much you can find, but this is just not the place for me. Okay, that was a very short visit. We're gonna try and find another spot. Guys, we are at the gate wall. I know this place because last time I came here when I, I came for the boss fitting, having a coffee. It's 5 p.m. and this is my first coffee, so basically this is breakfast, okay? I'm having a breakfast. Finally, I found really good coffee. So if you're in Doha, come to Flat White. This is obviously very organic. Oat milk latte. Yes. What are the chances? I sat at the table, I looked up. Guys, I'm still trying to find the electronic shop and I literally have no idea where to find it. It's not going very well. Today, I'm gonna get it better. I need to be reunited with my other half as soon as he's back from his activities. And then I'm gonna go and book like something at the spa. I'm sure there's a nice spa at the hotel. Guys, good news. Found the electronic shop. So we just, you just have to pray for me that they have a battery charger. We can get it and then Vlogmas will be a little bit saved, a lot saved. And it's a huge one, so I'm sure we'll find it. No charger, because they only deal with the Canon. And I'm not logging with the Canon, so. Deep breath, <laughs> I need a spa. I, I don't know, we're gonna fix it. Like, well, I'm seeing my sister tomorrow. She's bringing it, but it's at the end of the day. And since it's at the end of the day, I still have to vlog tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to finals. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe it's even better not to vlog on a big camera, but on a phone, because in most places in Doha, it's not allowed to vlog with a camera, obviously, for like, like privacy reasons but you are allowed on the phone guys on top of everything my phone was hacked and i don't have internet anymore nor do i have a chance to kind of access anything anymore right now so my phone number only though instead of logging i should be fixing it okay okay guys a little update so yesterday i forgot my laptop on the plane day before i forgot my microphone in the van today my phone got hacked so now Vodafone has blocked my phone, which I need. I was going to pay for something and um, I can't even do that because I need my phone in order to complete the payment. So... Yeah, I need this. It's current update. Filippo picked me up, brought me back to the hotel and now I'm trying to fix my current situation. The problem is... As my phone number is blocked, I now also need to inform my bank of that. All from Doha. Guys, I made it back to the hotel. Filippo picked me up because I basically couldn't even without a connection anything. But it's all good. We're kind of fixing it, I think. And that's basically the verdict. It's just that I won't be able to do anything without my phone or without Wi-Fi, let's say. I might buy like a SIM card tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Currently, I'm watching uh, Jenna Ortega at the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And lol, on the side, you can, on the side, you can see what I watch mainly on YouTube. I love to have these like deep focus music when I'm doing work. And also, of course, what I watch the most are sort of like uh, mystery and crime stories. So that's always recommended to me on the side. I feel like I really need to chill a bit because this day didn't really go as planned. I mean, it's okay. Can't have every day be like amazing. <laughs> Are you filming? What happened to your hair? I don't know. Also to mine. I'm so cold, guys. Because the fresh air conditioning, but we're gonna have a dinner now, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's go. By the way, I'm going to Dubai tomorrow. I still haven't booked my 
my hotel. I don't know if I've told you, but I am sort of like treating my family with a week in Dubai. So I booked everything for them, like all the flights, the hotel, everybody is going tomorrow. And I booked their hotel, but I booked their hotel so that it's a little bit like kids friendly also for Stefan and Victor. However, I don't really like that much kids friendly <laughs> hotels. That sounds terrible, but it's just like, if I want to rest, I don't want to go to a water park, you know what I mean? Or through a water park if I'm going to the beach. I want to have like something that's, I don't know. But then I also want to be close to my family. So should I stay with them? Probably. Even though I will be with them all the time anyway, so. I think they're putting like flags of the country. I'm not sure, but I think we're gonna check it out now. Because Croatia just won third place. Well done, Croatia. We couldn't go watch Croatia win third place. But oh. it's because Filippo was too busy with his work. So that's that. But then tomorrow we're going to the finale. And in all honesty, I don't even think I'm going to be able to stay till the very, very end. Because I've heard it's going to be quite busy. <laughs> 100,000 people. So I'm gonna have to head to the airport, so we'll see, but it's beautiful. It's all like such a beautiful experience like to see it from here from close up That's it France, Argentina, Morocco, Croatia. I mean huge 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 congratulations To Morocco to all of my followers from Morocco who have really made it to top 14 But I have to say and have to be honest that I was really cheering for Croatia, of course, I mean after Serbia was not in anymore, I was like, I was hoping that tomorrow I'm gonna come watch the finals and Croatia is gonna be playing. Like, I have to say that um, hospitality in the Middle East is always the best. Nothing can compare to it. These are crepes, always fresh. Fataya, cheese rolls, kibe, spinach, fata. Let's see, there's a shawarma station. There's a lot of like a Middle Eastern kind of like tabule, moussaka. This is also like, a, by the way, a Serbian dish and Greek, moussaka, of course. Yeah. I know a lot of people would say it's from their country as well. And this also looks like a Serbian corner <laughs> very much. Guys, Filippo and I were talking about love languages. There are five love languages, right? Words of affirmation, acts of service, a gift giving, a physical touch and quality time. And my number one, Phil, are you gonna support me in this one? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. The way I show love. Can you see? I'm no, here. baby, you little piedino. Why you don't like my <laughs> piedini? Your. Okay, say the five points. I did, baby. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. Okay, so. My love language. Yeah. Is words of affirmation. Yes. This is your first way to show me love is with words, 100%. Like, I think from the morning to the night, I tell you I love you a million times. 100%. And not just that I love you. How many times do I tell you how handsome I think you are? No, no, you are... How like gorgeous a, yeah, you look, yeah, how great yeah. is your outfit, yeah, yeah. how good I believe in you, yes, yes. how proud I am in you. you. Are, like, in you every are. single day, yes. I tell you how incredible I think you are. And it's never fake. It's always, like, what I really think. And I send you sometimes these very long messages randomly, no? Yes, you do. What I do like to receive, I think, like guys, probably every woman, I do like to no, receive. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let's do it properly. The first way to show love you have is... With By words. saying, yeah. yes. But shall my I say first... how I like to receive? Oh, no. No, but my first way to love you is with... Physical touch. Physical touch. Like I hug you, I squeeze you, I kiss you. Every night I have to come on your shoulder. I cannot sleep if you don't. Uh, every you don't morning, come on my shoulder every for, morning, at least like for, at I think least every for, morning you give me at least at least at least hundred kisses. No, no, it's true. Every because morning. when you sleep, you are the best. Then you wake up and uh, <laughs> God save the queen. Did you just say what? that when I sleep I'm the best? When you sleep, baby, you are the best. Baby, this mm. is very mean. But it's true, baby. You look so cute with the mouth little open. Anyway. So I love squeezing you and I think that's the way, my natural way to show love. I'm not as good as you are with words. True. Just because we're But you're different. very cuddly and very like yeah, loving. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a different way to show. I don't think that one is right and one is wrong. You know, people are different and in that way, you know, I'm not a very good in... Uh... I think my second love language is giving gifts. I love to give gifts. I love to spoil people I love. I love no, to give little you surprises. No, you do that with me. You do that with your family. I you like do to do... With your, you do that with your friends. 
with your colleagues, you are like really, really good in that. But I like to give words and of my affirmation. my second way to show love. I think acts of service. Yeah. But you also I, give me gifts. Maybe like sometimes you just wake up and you go get me coffee, bring me breakfast. But that's also kind of more like acts of service, like Birkins. That's also service because you know I need it for my job. No, just kidding. Exactly. I think, you know, when I can, I help you, you know, I do the stock, I empty the box, yeah. I throw the stuff, I go to the post office. Yes. So, you know, whenever I don't work, I still work. You help me, you shoot me I if do... I need you. No, but also, you know, to be your boyfriend is um, is an honor, it's a privilege, but it is also... Very demanding. No, it's also, how do you say, in Italian we say un onore e un onere, which means it's an honor. But it's also a, a duty, you know? So when I go home from the office, uh, there is pictures, there is videos, there is uh, emotional support, there is boxes to open, there is boxes to cut, there is boxes to bring downstairs to the rubbish. Anyway, so there is a lot... The boxes, the boxes, there's a lot of boxes. Well, so I think that to give, to give you all my free time is also a way uh, for love. The second way, the first one is the cuddling stuff. Um, but what is something you like to receive as a love language? Me? Yeah. I don't know if it's a love, as a love language, the, honestly, and we didn't prepare this. We just, uh, talking the, I'm just talking Care from the like, heart. Like we ever prepare anything, baby. But baby, everything before was prepared. Mm. Yeah, no, just kidding. No, honestly, what I love, what is real love for me is understanding. No, but from those five, you, I think you love to receive the uh, words of affirmation. Mm, no? Sometimes you go like... Uh, too much. Too much. So, yeah. What I like to receive... No, I'm not going to tell you so much. Give you so much love anymore. No, I mean... Because it's too much. I don't need it. That's what I mean. I need it, but not uh, that much because I know you love me so much. But it's nice to hear it sometimes. I know you would like to hear it more from me. So what do you like more? Acts of service, gifts, touching, or what else is left? Uh, wait, I think quality for time. Me, quality time, I we, think for like me, completely... but not only for me. I honestly think that the biggest way to show love of those five is the is the acting of... Uh, Act of service. Yes. Yeah, I think, because, I think so too. Because for me, when you're... I mean, it's easy to say, I love you. You can fake a word. But maybe when you give your time to the other person, when you go and bring a coffee, or when you go and uh, do uh, something, like you go to get something from a store, mm -hmm. for me, because I can't. For me, it's like you taking something away from you to give it to someone else. And when you hug, or when you kiss, or when you say something, it doesn't cost much. But when you go somewhere because you just helping your boyfriend or your girlfriend to do it, for me, that's the biggest way to love. I mean, for yes, I agree. But I, I understood that's kind of what you like to receive as a love language because whenever, very rarely, I make a dinner for you, you say like, this is the best thing you could ever do. No, for baby, me. The, you remember that day we came, I came home one night yes. and you make a pizza, remember? Yes. And I sit on the table and you bring me the pizza. And the Coca-Cola. Yes. And everything was done. Maybe for me it was like, oh my God. Because, guys, I always I always do that. Because Tommy is always very busy. So every time I go home from the office, I have, you know, I go shower and then I cook. And uh, so sometimes when you do that, for me, maybe it's like... Uh, it helps. No, it doesn't help. But it makes the all difference. For me, the love, love And language. also, I know that it's something that you really don't like. You don't like it. It's not your thing. To cook so when you do it, it the value is like immense no, you know what i mean it's like sleepy being... because of you what is something that i hate to do it you don't hate anything first of all yeah but something i don't like i'm like no see the answer is nothing do you know uh what is my love language yes what you love saying you love saying beautiful things and you love gift you love gifting because no, but amazing. what I like receiving, that's what I mean as a love ah, language. Yes, yes, you love receiving gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like the last thing that I love. I love you. Love because I love receiving gifts. Yes, but baby, let's face it. 
when yeah. my mom or my sister buys me a gift i don't love it because i'm always saying like i don't want people to spend money on me that's how true. many times i say like don't need like you don't no, need no, to no, spend okay. money on me because what i feel like lo- i have everything i need i hate like i don't need like or my best friend i don't need people to buy me gifts i receive so many gifts no, no, you i right. like to give gifts you're right would you really of course love- i like when you spend money on me because i yeah. think a man should suffer a little bit yeah but what you really love, what you really love, is to receive. Uh, like you love when people. But when, it's not my love language. That's what I wanted to say. When I tell you, when I tell you things like exactly. I love you, how beautiful you are. This is so easy. I mean, women that's are so it, easy. That's what you. All th- it takes. That's what you think. No, baby. All it takes is you to say like, "Oh my God, you're the best thing." Like you text me the other day, you're the best thing that ever happened to me out of nowhere, and I like melted like a yeah, chocolate you know in the Doha you sun. You know why you melt? Why? Because it doesn't happen every day. Because then it will lose the, the meaning. No, maybe no. I don't say much, but when I say it, maybe it's coming from the deepest place. Very hidden with a lot of like a well, cobweb. Like, like that, a little bit of a caveman. And that's okay, you know? But other than that, I think you do a lot of acts of service. You know what is the secret? The secret is always to aspect from your partner what your partner can give. But I do love, I have to say, yes, it's true, I agree. Not what they can't give. I agree. So real love is when you don't ask something he cannot give. It depends. Sometimes they're just stingy with feelings, with no, time, with uh, emotions, know, with the words. It's accept everything. Sometimes they, everybody can give words, but sometimes people are just stingy with them. But you know, to be stingy, it's also part of personality. Yes, but I strongly believe when someone, I always say this, I would rather be with a man that can out of that has 10 euros but would give me 9 than with a man that has 100 but would give me 5. Because if you're stingy with money, you're also stingy with time. And you know I don't this need is, this is money. True. This is you're stingy true. with time, you're stingy with feelings. This is true, but you know it's a, it's a personality and there are some people that are... Maybe you've never been also on a trip to come back without bringing me anything. You always bring me a little thing no, at least. Of course I do. Of course I do. You always I show always... that you think of me. But yeah. You know, and I don't need anything. No, I have I so much, but it's always sweet to know that someone does a little something. Anyway, I think, guys, today was a bit of a crazy day. I still haven't fixed my phone. And I tried to buy something earlier, and I couldn't because I couldn't actually get a text message for my stuff. So it's a bit of a crazy situation. But I'm going to love you and leave you. We're going to go to go out tonight. You want to go out? Uh, yes, outside the balcony. You don't want to go out party? No. No? We don't party. Baby. No? No, no. We are not party people. Tomorrow, I'm going to be reunited with my family. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to Dubai. Well, tomorrow, we're going to World Cup Finals, guys. Bye.